That's right, Margie. Millions of people are impacted by his Alzheimer's. And joining us this morning is Sarah Lovegreen to share how a new study is helping advance treatment for the disease. Sarah, good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you for joining us this morning. Now, what is the, pronounce that for me, please. Demanimab. Demanimab. Now, what is that? So this is the third drug that um, looks like it has some really promising results to actually treat early Alzheimer's disease. Okay. Uh, so we're excited to see these top line results mm -hmm. and uh, you know if the full results that'll come out later this summer are as what we think they will be, um, this is a great option and we hope to see FDA approval. Denanomab. Denanomab. Got it. Now what are we learning when it comes to how Denanomab can help Alzheimer's? Yeah, so what it is, it's a drug that actually clears amyloid from the brain, okay. um, and it actually, what we see is that it slows clinical decline and allows people to have more independence and decision-making longer. Mm -hmm. Now, we're still early in this study, and it takes time, as you had mentioned a little bit, and waiting for it to hopefully get the approval. Who is a part of this study? Yeah, so primarily this was with um, older adults who have um, Alzheimer's disease, with um, so those amyloid plaques, but then they also had the secondary protein, which was tau. And what they wanted to do was look at how much amyloid they could clear over the course of treatment um, and see what result that would have on the progression of the disease as well as the independence for the individuals. Now, before we came on, we were talking about how many people this does impact, and you said usually it's somebody who says their aunt, their uncle, their grandma, their grandpa. My grandma had it, unfortunately. Is there a specific age that Alzheimer's impact? So the highest risk is for people over the age of 65, but we see younger onset Alzheimer's with people under the age of 65 as well. Mm -hmm. Where can people go to find out more information about this study and what's next? So they can come visit our website at ALZ.org or call our 24-7 helpline at 800-272-3900. Real quick, last question. What are some of the, um, what you might see? when you see the, the first start like of early signs early of the, stages yes yeah so you know rarely it's about memory and thinking changes that impact everyday life so right. for example if you're great at doing your bills and all of a sudden that's getting a little bit harder mm -hmm. that would be something to talk to a clinician about same thing with cooking and recipes maybe you're getting lost going to common places mm -hmm. or you find that you're having trouble remembering new information mm -hmm. or you're repeating yourself quite a bit all things to talk about with a physician uh, just to see if it's something else or if it might be some a cognitive of decline issue. Is it ever too early to find out what your physician has to say about them? No, nope, never. Just get it checked out. Start the conversation because mm -hmm. once you start it you can continue the conversation and you know monitor what may be a change over time or something that may be just a normal part of aging for you. All right, Sarah, thank you much for joining us for thank this you. morning. We appreciate it. We're going to continue this conversation online at foxynow.com. In the meantime, let's go ahead and toss things over to Timmy Zell. Take a look. It's in a book.